but it did change right pretty not not so not so quickly like you might have enjoyed it but in like two or three years time you did get your 2014 t20 world cup when you played india in the final right um you were the man of the match you got a 52 i played that game uh you guys pulled the innings from nowhere lasit malinga and kulasekara nailed yorkers like i've never seen any better death bowlers do it uh so how was that feeling and did you feel like you had the game in the pocket once you uh once you had to chase just 130 yeah when we i mean we never expected you to you know india to to be kept under 160 or 170 you know that was what we were targeting and we were thinking it'll be a it'll be a good enough chase um we had a plan against the indian side usually when we played india in india our job was to try and chase totals down because we knew that the indian team loved chasing the only thing is that in a 50 over game we can do that especially in 2011 if we had angelo matthews fit because he was the guy who allowed us that fifth full bowler and the perfect all rounder batting at 7 and he was doing a brilliant job unfortunately in the semi final he tears his uh, his quadricep and we have to change the balance of the side once that happens in a final you're always you know kind of averse to taking a gamble with that chase so um but in the t20 final you anyway play a 6 5 combination and you have your all rounders playing and it's a shorter game so we were always thinking yep we're going to chase whatever india scores but when virat kohli came in and i think he was on about 14 and he chips one to to short mid wicket and lasit malinga who was our captain at the time dropped him and i remember going to the other side because we had two similar incidents of dropped catches one in 2011 when gambhir was dropped um one in uh, 2012 when marlon samuels was dropped yeah and uh, yeah. and um and they all went on to score match winning knocks and this time I was walking around and I think I'm not sure it was Dilshan or someone else crossing next to me and he I said ah oh, another drop catch hopefully this is not going to be a big innings and Dilshan just goes well it's not the same player who dropped the catch so maybe this time it's going to change <laughs> <laughs> I remember laughing I remember both of us laughing and then crossing over and getting into positions but you were right you know it was the last four overs I think 24 balls for about 20, 18 to 24 some some ridiculously low amount of runs bowled into virat and 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 mai so that exceptional dead bowling which i've never seen before or since in a game to to tie one down was what really brought us in and after that it was just about making sure we batted sensibly and i managed to get some thick inside edges and outside edges off you ravi over the slips past off my leg uh, and and that that helped as well yeah yeah i i was I, i remember one thing about the game it felt like i mean uh, the moment we beat south africa in the semi finals and uh, you beat new zealand in the semi finals didn't you i uh, know uh, west indies rain rain helped us helped us beat them i think right but there was a five wicket haul by rangana irat against new zealand was it yeah, that, so that was so ravi that was the play off for us to get to the second round i think or right. get to the the semi finals because if we had lost to new zealand we would have been knocked out and um so i always think that it's it's actually easy on your nerves and uh, and and your on your on your emotions if you're knocked out before a final right because then you don't think oh we've come so close why couldn't we take that one step and then you're like three four steps away then you can say okay we had no chance but when we scored 120 we walk in back to the dressing room knowing okay it's not the easiest of wickets but 120 is nothing much <laughs> and it ours was to try and break, break the guptil uh, mccallum partnership and the only partnership. way we could think of doing it uh, doing it with the opening guys because if they batted five overs the game was done so ours was to try and get our, our biggest weapon against them especially mccallum left arm spin into the game early and little rangana just kind of trundled in turned his arm over and bowled the spell of his life of his of his of his t20 career and the most important thing for us i think he took five for five for five wickets for three runs or something like that I mean, which was incredible it could have probably been a six for i'm not sure but uh, i'm just i'm just leaving it out there subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content